So what are you doing today? Work stuff. Really? I never would have thought that. Could you be a little bit more specific? Well, I batch my tasks together, you see, and today's theme is, is work. Right, that's really specific. Thanks for the help. Yeah, so when I have work tasks to do, I put them on my work theme day. Okay then, what's tomorrow's theme? Hard work. So what tasks do you put on those days? Well, work tasks that are hard to do. <sighs> okay, what was yesterday's theme? Soft work. Wait, let me guess. Work tasks that are soft to do. No! Work tasks to do with software. Okay, but can't the things that go into that list also overlap with any of the other lists, like the work hard list or the work day list? Sometimes. So why batch tasks on days when they can be put on literally any other day? It gives some, some flexibility. But isn't that the reason you batch tasks in the first place? You group tasks together to remove some of the flexibility? Yeah, m most, most tasks don't really move around though. But any software task can go on any day. The work day, the hard work day, the soft work day, there, there's, there's no batching there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still not really seeing the issue. But you're not batching tasks, you're putting random names on groups of things you need to do. But I thought that is what we do with tasks. What? You know, put random names on things with words that can be replaced by, like, loads of other words. We don't do that. We are productive people, and there is a method to the madness. Okay. Blocking, batching, boxing, all related to time, or could be their own individual things completely separate from time. And then what about dates? Due dates, due dates, cut-off dates, deadlines? Okay, there are some phrases that can be somewhat interchanged. Decision tree, GTD, eat the frog, Eisenhower matrix, para, PPV, or maybe some of the number things where you've got the five hour rule, the one hour rule, one three five, one three three, three five one, fifty two seconds. 17, all the other Pomodoro technique variations. Okay, okay, fair. There is, there is a fair amount of overlap. What about learning? Space repetition, active recall, deliberate practice, deliberate play. Then you have environmental constraints. Okay, fine. Are you going to get to a point? Batching task is just the name I chose, okay? At the end of the day, it's just a list of stuff I've got to do. But just having that list can be overwhelming. Can it really? Yeah. What do you do to tasks before you batch them together? Before batching? Yeah, I mean, I assume you, you delegate, you remove, you refine and filter some of the things that you don't necessarily need to do out of that list. Yeah, yeah, I do that. I definitely do not do that. He doesn't filter the tasks. I could say I filter them to sound productive. He is going to lie about filtering them. Then I can say I don't go on social media. He's probably going to give me some obvious example that he doesn't do. Then I can talk about my main projects. I'm guessing he will probably lie about not doing it as well, so he will need to give me an actual real example. Ah, what if he asks about them? I can then just ask about them. He might ask when they're due. I can then ask when he has planned them for but I can then say I don't have due dates, only due dates, which of course are flexible. He probably won't give me a deadline because that will make him accountable. This is a brilliant plan. I love how he plans out his excuse better than the actual project. So the task list is well filtered before I actually start batching or whatever word you want to put on it. Okay, all of those tasks, of course, with a higher level purpose. Yeah, of course. So even with a refined list of tasks, you arbitrarily batch them into groups. Okay, okay, I could do with some better names for the groups. What about working on? But isn't that the same as in progress? No, no, they're different things. Okay, but I thought we were talking about batching tasks. Yeah. To do, working on, in progress, waiting on, and then obviously just complete. That's not batching tasks, that's just the stage the task or project happens to be in. No, I'm grouping tasks together. I see what you think is batching, I think is staging. But it's grouping tasks together. Okay, but staging and batching and theming are three completely different things. But they are all just grouping tasks together. 
They are still different things. This is what I was saying earlier, putting apparently random words on things, some of the same words meaning different things, and some of the different words meaning the exact same thing. It's confusing. I think there are some definitions for them to differentiate them. Probably, but who is going to first learn what the definitions are, second, remember all of the definitions and the differences between them, and then third, not actually change just a little bit of the definition to fit their specific context, use case, methodology, philosophy, etc. Okay, fine. What do you suggest then? You're the productive person, you're meant to have the answers, you're the one making videos on YouTube. But productivity is like philosophy, there is no right or wrong answer, there are just loads of possibilities and options. Brilliant! That is so helpful. So, from my experience, whatever batching technique I've used, whether that is intensity, so the intensity of the task, how difficult essentially the task is, how much effort I need to put in, or I'm batching them through time, so how long it's taken me to do that task, or if I'm batching it through just a project. I want to do this project today, so I'm going to do all those tasks. Irrespective of which method I used for batching, assuming I had the capacity to actually do those tasks, I didn't actually find an issue. You see, we all have limited energy that we can give each day. And as long as I don't waste time binge watching YouTube videos, I will get stuff done.